Do you struggle with a strong fear or anxiety when it comes to driving or getting behind the wheel of a car? Let's see if I can help you alleviate that fear by the end of this video. Hey guys, it's Jasmine and this is Tapping Tuesday. If you're new to EFT or tapping, then I strongly suggest that you watch my intro videos first, and you can find those on the stress management playlist on YouTube, which I will also link in the description below. I also invite you to download my free EFT and stress relief guide that I created specifically to benefit anybody who comes across this series. And if you are a therapist or mental health counselor, or coach, or not even in any of these professions, but seek certain tools to help those who may be struggling around you. You can also get access to my first collection of guided tapping scripts, and that is over 160 pages of pre-written EFT scripts for over 80 common stressors, anxieties and fears. There are also perks included like prioritized script requests and a new unreleased guided tapping video to your inbox each week. If you want to learn more or download your free EFT and stress relief guide, you can do that at truehealthtrifecta.com slash EFT. By joining me in this practice today, you are also agreeing that you take full responsibility for your own health, and that includes your physical and emotional well-being. Now, let's get started with today's session. Repeat after me. I feel so anxious and scared to get behind the wheel of a car. On a scale of zero to 10, how true does that statement feel to you right now? Let's get started by tapping on the karate chop point and repeat after me. Even though I feel so anxious when I think of driving, I accept myself and how I feel. Even though I feel such a fear of getting behind the wheel of a car, I accept how I feel and I'm open to feeling confident and in control. Even though I feel such fear and anxiety at the thought of driving, I deeply and truly accept myself and how I feel right now. This anxiety. I feel so scared to drive. The thought of getting behind the wheel of a car It makes me so uneasy and anxious. This feeling. This fear makes me feel so insecure. This anxiety of having to drive. this feeling in my stomach and my head and my entire body. Maybe I had a bad experience in a car before. Maybe I just need some more time to process that past experience. I understand that it may not have been my fault. Or maybe it was due to negligence on my part. But 
but I do know that I'm fortunate enough to be here right now. And to be more aware when I'm driving. I just want to feel like I have better control when I'm driving a car. I want to feel secure and confident when I'm driving. Whether it's in high traffic or on a small street. Even though I'm still feeling some anxiety and fear when I think about it. I'm ready to let go of these feelings and be on the road confidently. I choose to release any fear and tension from the deepest cellular level of my body. I accept that anything that may have happened in the past is in the past. And I'm ready to live and experience in this present moment. To feel as safe as I feel sitting here right now. Letting go of any residual anxiety and fear lingering within my body. I am in full control of how I feel. And I choose to feel confident, alert, and at ease. I choose to forgive myself for any faults that may have been mine from the past. And I thank my body for trying to protect me through this feeling. I open myself up to trusting what I've learned. and to knowing that I am attentive and I am a responsible driver. (sighs) Breathing out any residual tension or stress from my body. As long as I'm doing the best I can I will be okay. Take a deep breath. Have a sip of water if you have one nearby. If not, I strongly suggest going and getting one when we're done with this session. And let's go ahead and repeat that starting statement. I feel so anxious and scared to get behind the wheel of a car. On a scale of zero to 10, how true does that statement feel to you now? If that feeling is still strong, then you can continue tapping until it neutralizes or until another emotion takes over. Remember that everybody processes things differently, so it's okay to take as long as you need in order to feel calmer or better than you did before we started. If you found this video helpful or learned something new today, then please do me a favor and click that thumbs up below because that will help this video get in front of the eyes of more people and potentially somebody who really, really needs it. Also, leave me a comment below and let me know the number that you started off with 
versus the number that you ended with once we were finished with the session. I encourage you to help others as well by sharing this video and to feel free to join the Cat Lady Fitness family by clicking that subscribe button below because I would love to have you. Remember to grab your free EFT and stress relief guide by going to truehealthtrifecta.com slash EFT. And you can also learn more about my first collection of guided tapping scripts and all of the perks that come along with that. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.